All right, so I'm sitting here swinging along and you get an 83 right there, 17 mega kilohertz. Sitting, not not just sitting on top of the ground, but it is on the ground. I got. better if it's got a post I don't want to I don't want to mess it up looks like it's a uh, looks like it's an earring it is a silver earring I can see that that is alrighty well we'll see you on my next find well I'm out here in uh I'm out here in Colorado. I uh, have not made it to the beach yet. I uh, I am going to be going to the beach. There's a there's a beach in, uh, real close to here where I'm at. I'm actually at a little elementary school, and uh, this little elementary school I went to it uh, last January and did pretty good. And I thought I'd go ahead and come back and uh, uh, come back and see if if there's anything else has been planted. But uh, I am actually right next to this. Uh, I'm actually right next to this uh, little toy tot area, um, but I got a signal right about here next to the pole, and I started moving around the sand, and I've got this little charm here. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's anything silver or gold or anything like that. I actually think that that might be just something that is uh, some kind of cosmetic jewelry or yeah something like that, but. Uh, it was ringing up about, uh, I believe it was 72 on my machine, and the, uh, the uh, sound was really good, so I went ahead and moved the sand around, check and see if I could find anything, and there it is, a little heart uh, cancer uh, pendant. Well, I'll see if I find anything else. Alright, well, I got an 82 signal, and first target is... One of those, uh, one of those tokens, or, yeah, well, I guess it would be token, but it's one of those, uh, pressed out pennies from Estes Park, Colorado. I will keep going and see what else I get. Well, yeah, looks like I got myself a quarter, but a bicentennial quarter. This one was down there, but... I'll just keep swinging for a bit and see what I can find. See you on my next one. Well, looks like I got myself a little key ring. Looks like it's a little John Deere tractor key ring. It's kind of cool. And a little John Deere tractor. See what else I can find. All right. Well, I was getting a little bit target, and I uh, it was a little jumpy, but it's it looks like it was once a ring. I'm gonna have to take a good look at it, but it looks like it was once a ring, and it looks like it may have. A little bit of gold right there. Now, though it's on the outside here, of course, I don't believe was. But the back looks like it's got some, a little bit of shiny. Where it looks like it may have been copper or something like that. But that right there in the middle looks like it was gold. I'll have to clean it up just a little bit more. But... There's a little bit of jewelry find. I'll check and see if I can get anything else on it a little later. I was getting a target right there. I ended up digging it out and I've got this. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Locks. I guess it may have gone to like some, I don't know, some. I don't know exactly what it went to, but it has some two little prongs right there on the back. But. 
Anyways, just gotta dig everything. It was a very low number. I forgot what it was. I think it was like 70s or something like that. But I thought I'd go ahead and get it. Well, have myself a little signal. And I've got myself an earring. I don't, I don't think this is anything real. I'm pretty sure it's not. But I'll take it. Let's continue swinging. I'm pretty sure it's not. The, uh, it doesn't have a very good, for, if it were something real that big, it would have, uh, it would have a, a much bigger, better setting, but no, that's not real. But, hey, it makes for, helps make for the video. See you on my next find. Well, I've been all over this little beach area here, and I absolutely haven't gotten anything but a bunch of clad, maybe an earring, uh, a, uh, got a, uh, uh, you know, what was that, is a, I've gotten a little bit of things, I'll go ahead, I think, I think it was a, a John Deere little tractor keychain, I've gotten a lot of clad, I decided I was going to go ahead and come over into this grassy area, and what I've got here is, I've got myself a little gold ring, and, uh, it wasn't too far, it was maybe about like, like an inch, less than an inch, but uh, it was coming in 61 on my, on my uh, dais, and it is marked, I've got a, uh, got a lawnmower here next to me, but it is marked 10K, and on the inside it says keepsake, there you go, uh, sorry about that y'all, 10 carat keepsake all right I believe this is uh, ring number 27 27 for the year and uh, all right well I will uh, see you on my next find Look at that. There's something you don't see very often.
digging. Got a really deep signal. I thought I'd go ahead and dig it. But there it is. Look at that. Woohoo! Somebody else has been out here. That was way down there. Better go put that in the trash. Alrighty. I'll just keep scanning. Again, a quarter signal and I start scraping away the top of the soil. And I've got myself a little core. A little hot wheel car. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to continue scanning. Well, got myself a spoon here. It's coming in low. I think it's about 58. Thought I'd go ahead and dig it. But, it's a spoon. It's a newer one, Oneida, but you just never know what you're going to get in these uh, beaches. Try to go ahead and dig it. Well, walking up as I'm searching, kind of scanning the top, see what uh, people may have lost, and I see this right here. Dollar in the pock. I'm going to continue searching, see what I find. All right, well, it was coming in about a 58, I believe is what it was. And I've got myself a ring there. Fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Like I said, I've got myself a ring. And we'll check and see what it is. Most gold. It's not marked. I don't see anything. I'm going to have to take that home and test it out. I don't see any markings. Sometimes these get sized and they lose their, that wherever they get sized, they'll lose the marking. But hey, there is another wedding ring. All right. Well, I'll get back with y'all when I find anything else. Well, I've got myself a ring here. And I don't know if I recorded this a minute ago, but I did. Let me pull this thing off real quick. Actually, I'll go ahead. I put it on my pinky because it's the only, only finger it fits. But right here, I dug that ring earlier, which is that ring right there and then right here is where I dug the other one so I got two rings pretty cool that's number 29 and number 30 29 and 30 all right well I'll get back with y'all see if I find anything else yeah, I've got myself a little little pendant here. Looks like a little butterfly. It's nothing special, nothing silver, nothing gold. But hey, I thought I'd go ahead and get a little bit of footage. See you on my next find. Well, I guess it wouldn't be complete if you're uh, doing a surface search without one of these things. Got myself a fidget spinner. If I get bored later, maybe I'll play around with it. But for now, it's just something else to uh, to have. Alrighty. Let's see how my next find. Sanders swinging away, and I come across this. It's not anything... It's not anything silver or gold. It's just the cosmetic jewelry. But hey, I'll take it. Alright, well, looks like I got myself another ring. It's number 31 for the year. I'm not exactly sure if it's uh, silver or gold, but I will take it. And looks like it's uh, two dolphins. I don't want to break it. Or, no, it's not two dolphins. It's a whole bunch of dolphins. But... It is a ring. 
There you go. Green number 31. Three for today. Thank y'all for watching. Well, I just got through. Uh, I just got through digging that up. I'm gonna show you a little bit what what is uh, what I'm around. But uh, if you look right there, that is an old uh, railroad depot. I believe is what they call it. But that's one of the originals. It's been there for a very long time. Uh, but looks like they've updated it and all. But I am right here next to this tot lot. There's no wood chips, no gravel there. That's like some rubberized thing that they're going into nowadays. But let's go back to my find. I've got this uh, Princess Pat compact disc. That's pretty cool. I've only dug one of those before in the past, but I dug it with front and back. This is just the back. I'm going to scan a little bit and see if I can find the back. That'd be kind of cool. But uh, we'll see you on my next find. All right, so uh, this is my wrap-up from the park. Uh, I've got, you know, the normal trash. I've got some lures there. A little car that I dug out in the beach. Lighter. The fishing stuff. Here's some of those little firecracker firework deals. And uh, let's see. We'll go over to my clad here. On my clad, I've got 275 and quarters, 20 pennies, 15 cents in dimes, 60 cents in, or no, didn't it? 15 cents in nickels, sorry, uh, 60 cents in dimes, got this necklace, got this Princess Pat uh, compact fidget spinner, and I also got that little butterfly charm, my rings, I got three rings, it's the best I've done in a while, but this one might be gold. I'm not exactly sure, but it might be gold. Then I've got that one. I know that one's not gold. It's not silver or anything like that. But uh, then I've got this one that I just dug my last ring. Little uh, dolphin rings. Thank y'all very much for watching. If you like my video, please hit subscribe down at the bottom. Hit like. Uh, see you on my next fight. Good luck and happy hunting. I was just pushing away all this uh, wood chips here and I end up getting number 32. Well, it looks like I've got myself another little piece of jewelry. Not exactly sure what it is, but it's got some little black stones on it. I don't think it's anything gold or silver, but hey, uh, I'll go ahead and take it. And I will see you on my next finds.